Hello and welcome to this coding lecture on hyperparameter tuning. I have opened here the start script for the hyperparameter tuning and the sample code that I'm going to provide here is covering the package loading, the data import. You can see here we have set up the dataset class and the data loader and the modeling class together with the loss function and the learning rate and the optimizer. So many things are already provided and what we now are going to implement is something that is called grid search. In the theory lecture you have seen what grid search is meaning. So we are going to set up some parameters which are then combined and every combination of these parameter sets are going to be evaluated and compared to each other. And finally the best parameter combination is used. For this, I'm going to use a package that is called Scorch. You can find it here at this GitHub page. And this is basically a scikit-learn compatible neural network library that wraps PyTorch. And first of all, we have to go to the top of this file and to import the necessary functions of this specific package. So from Scorch, we are importing the neural network regressor. Okay, let's just scroll through the bottom of this script and then run everything above. So now it should look like this. Everything was loaded into the workspace and now we are ready to set up our model. So the first thing is that we are going to make use of this neural net regressor. And in here, this is requiring some parameters. The first one is the linear regression torch model class that we have set up. And the second one is a parameter, the max epochs that we can set. And then we can also specify the learning rate. And we can also specify a parameter called iteration train shuffle. And we can set that to true. You can also check out the help function to find out what other functionality this is providing. Let's just see if this works. So this looks good. Then the next point is to set some parameters. And the other parameters that we're going to set are train split equals false. So we're not splitting our data according to some train test split ratio. So, and the other parameter that is going to be our verbosity that we set to zero. And now we are setting up our dictionary of the parameters that we're going to modify. So the first one is the learning rate. Let's just use a smaller number of learning rates because it's just for teaching purposes. So we are going to take three different learning rates that are going to be evaluated. So we provide this list and we are going to set up another parameter called max epochs, which is also having values as a list. So we are having a range of, let's start with 10 epochs, then have 200 and then 500 epochs. Okay, and now we have to set this up in our grid search. For this, we can call the grid search CV function that we have loaded. And what this is needing is at first the estimator, the network that we have set up, then the param grid. This is our dictionary of the parameters that we are going to modify. And then it wants to find out the best parameter combination. So we need to specify some scoring. Then since we are working with a regression problem, we can make use of the scoring parameter R squared. And we are using three different runs for the cross validation. And to see a bit more, we can specify the verbosity to be two. 
Good. And the next point is that we need to pass our data to the fit method. So in here, like usually in sklearn, we are putting in the independent feature and the dependent feature. And finally, once everything was evaluated, we can put into a print statement the best score that is scored in the property best score underline of GS. And then we can also specify the best params, the best parameters, which are stored in gs.bestparams. So now we have set up everything and let's perform now the grid search. You can see here it's running, you can see which parameters were modified and how long it took and then and then we can see there is a small typo. So this one got an unexpected argument, iteration train shuffle. We can check that out. And you can see here there is a typo. It actually needs to be called iterator train underline underline shuffle. So now it's taking a bit longer and eventually we are going to have some result. And finally we are done. So you can see here the best score and what is more interesting for us, this is the best parameter combination. So based on these two different parameters that were combined, so in total we had three parameters for learning rate and three for max epochs. So nine different parameter combinations were checked and out of this parameter set, these two parameter combinations are the best ones. And if you have more parameters, you can just stack them up into this dictionary and then the larger grid search is performed. All right, so in this lecture you have learned how you can perform some grid search to find the best parameter combination of your hyperparameter tuning. You have seen how we can implement this with the Scorch package. So how you have to set up everything to perform this grid search together with cross-validation and how to extract the best score in the end and how to get the best parameter combination. With that, we have reached the end of this lecture. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.